welcome back everybody so it's been a little while since I recorded um, and during that time it appears if you look at the map here the map's been reset not that it matters that much um, because there's still some good missions that we can take even though the map has been reset no big deal um, so uh, with that out of the way uh, our mechs are still as they were uh, most likely the fire starter or the trebuchet will become our melee mech but we do need parts for melee mechs so we're going to go looking for that today uh, and over the next few missions to try and get a melee mech here up and running right now we really don't have what we need for that so we're going to go ahead and look for some parts so we're going to go to the command center here uh, as you can see all the missions have been reset we're going to go down um, we got to defend base here uh, who is this against Oberon Confederation. So we might, let's do the defend base mission at one and a half skulls. We might actually, it's in the tundra, we might actually get some melee mech parts here. There's also humanitarians at escort mission against who? Uh, Lothian League. Um, you know, we did a de defend base before, so let's just go ahead and do humanitarians here. Negotiate. I'm going to go full salvage and accept this. And we'll run with our standard lance. Let's get her done. Alright, here we go. Looks like we got a lance with us. Or do we? Move to the position. Provide support is needed. Okay, so where are we escorting to? Oh, we do have someone with us. Lead the way, Merc. Strider. Is that it? Just one mech? Oh, wait, here we go. Valkyrie. Another Valkyrie and a Hornet. All right, not so bad. And they're three-quarter strength. So I guess we got to go up here, and I think they go... Where does the convoy go? I think it goes off this way, does it not? Pretty sure it does. Anyway, let's get up there and provide some support. Alright, GV, Flamer Mech. So as we're moving up, I just want to talk about a few things. First of all, uh, I want to apologize for not releasing a, an episode every single day. Um, I've been working from home. So I've got my work computer set up here beside me. And I've been finding it very, very difficult. There's no mechs up here. I've been finding it very difficult to um, game and work in the same room. And it's not that I can't do it. I, c I can certainly do it. Um, the issue has become that by the time I get done work and move my chair over to do some gaming, I just, I'm in the same room still. It's like, it's nice to have the, an office that you can go into every single day to get a break away from, you know, uh, what you're doing at home and now that I find that my work and my play space are one and the same it's very difficult to uh, to uh, basically play and record so um, yeah that's the whole reason why I haven't recorded a whole lot lately uh, but I'm gonna try and change that um, I still got a ton of work to do um, but okay we don't have a defending lance here um, but I'm going to try and pre-record stuff on the weekend just so we have stuff for the entire week. What can I do for you? Well, you can get into here for me. See if you can spot anybody. No, I didn't look that way. Yep. So yeah, there's that. And then, um, so the other thing I want to talk about too is I've been doing a lot of reading on the um, Rogue Tech Discord and uh, if you guys want to check out one of the things they're working on, you go ahead and uh, have a look at my, um, go to my YouTube page at the very bottom. There's a, uh, a playlist called YouTube Selects. I put a video in there. They're working on getting vehicles playable. And holy shit, that's just like, that's great. It's like totally amazing. I'm so glad that they've, uh, like, I figured they would probably get around to it sooner or later. But um, the way they're implementing it, I think it's pretty cool. Um, so if you want to see how well they're, how, how they're progressing with that, feel free to hit up the other 
playlist on my channel and check it out. So I can't wait for that to get implemented. Now, uh, they are also working on um, quad mechs, so four-legged mechs, which doesn't look like it's going to happen now. Um, and if it did happen, it would be breaking saves. So, um, yeah, so that doesn't look like it's going to be um, going on for the next little bit anyway. Which, I mean, it's fine with me. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't bother me in any way. We got a ton of mechs in the game. We don't need quads. Although they're kind of cool, but we don't need them in the game. All right, looks like we got to go here. Got a lance in the way. If this mission goes quickly, maybe we can flip over and do the uh, defend base mission or something. Or there's another. There's a couple of missions down below that have got um, that are basically battles that we could do as well. Um, yeah, so that's that. that. That's that's really really cool. So I'm hoping if I can get a bunch of stuff recorded this um, weekend. Um, it's Friday for me when I'm recording this. Hopefully this this will get posted today as well. Um, but if I can get enough recorded for the next week or so, I'm going to be trying to work on getting uh, all the elements I need for the next series up and running. Um, in my mind, the series exp has expanded quite a bit for what I want to do with it. Um, and it's it's yeah, you're going to get a lot of Battletech combat, but there's also going to be a strategic map overlay that I'm doing for this as well, uh, and tactical map overlays, because um, I want to kind of build... Like, I, I, mean, I don't mind playing mission after mission after mission. It's it's kind of fun. Um, but I also want to kind of develop some kind of uh, larger mercenary unit cohesion between different um, um, games that I'm going to have running. So we'll have, um, you? you know, uh, well, I, I don't want to spoil too much of it. There's going to be, s rather than just having two lances running in two different games, there might be more than two different games, depending on what I'm planning on doing. And we might do one where it's like all vehicles, um, like a support unit, ground unit, all vehicles, and so things like that. I got, I got some ideas rolling around in my head, but I want to start getting all the elements ready for that. Uh, that's going to re require a lot of... Um, map building, building ele elements for animated maps and stuff like that. So I want to get that done. I want to get some music done. I got to I gotta write some music for it. So I'll probably do that um, over the next little bit as well and get that into place. I'm actually really, really excited about it. But I, like I said, I just want to make sure that uh, we're pretty darn stable with the build before I actually get into it. Because the last thing I want to do is have it breaking saves. Okay, Brigand. Drillson. Let's just uh, open up on this guy with everything. Beautiful. That vehicle is one for the junkyard. Sure as hell is. Five points. So yeah, I'm kind of really excited about it. Yep. And I was, I was considering letting you guys know what the actual... Um, theme of the whole thing was going to be but it's probably going to change so the more the more I say and get people excited about stuff if it changes it's going to be kind of disappointing so I'm just I'm not going to bother until we get closer just know that it's like I said it's going to have tactical map overlay uh, so rather than just you know selecting your mission and going into it like we've been doing with this um, there's going to be more um, uh, more meaning to each of the missions that we take because there's going to be a strategic map that we're attempting to uh, um, uh, capture objectives and stuff like that so it'll make a whole it'll make journeying to different planets a lot more fun because there's more of a goal to it than just um, you know hey yeah I'm uh, doing another mission over here now and yeah that's fun so everything will have a goal to it Even those times when we're just kind of going planet to planet doing some ratings and stuff uh, for supplies, there'll be goals to each, like, uh, and objective, objectives to each of the planets. So we have to obtain those. The cool thing about it, too, is is that the, if we lose a battle or if we have to retreat, we lose position on the map. So 
I don't expect that to ever happen, but we'll see. And I'm, I mean, I'm not sure about the difficulty yet. I'm probably going to crank up the difficulty. Um, because I want it to be challenging. Uh, where do we want to go here? Let's get right in on this guy. Yeah, I'm liking the adder as a flamer mech. It's working out really well. All right, let's go after this guy. It looks like he's got some melee gear on him. Let's not um, try and kill him, but let's uh, heat him up here. So yeah, like I said, I'm really excited about the new series. I really want to get into it, but it's going to take a bunch of prep. I know I've said this for, I don't know how many episodes in the past too. It is going to take a bunch of prep, but once the maps and everything are set up and the animations are all built, then it'll just be a matter of uh, doing some quick animations for every episode and and uh, things will be done. I'm going to template as much of it as I can, which shouldn't be too bad. It's just the continuous planetary maps that are going to take a little bit of time. I'm seriously considering doing like 3D animations for each of the planets too. But I don't know how in-depth I want to get on them. So we'll just see. We'll just have to see. Um, can we get... Can't get a direct line of sight on that chopper, huh? On the chopper! Dead fire, we don't have... Okay, well. Let's just fire on this guy. Nice. Okay, keep it moving, buddy. Keep it moving. Let's go after this guy. Actually, can we get... We can see him. Alright, beautiful. Let's move into here. Let's switch it up. Let's switch it up. Let's get some good hard uh, hitting stuff going on here. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that damage. See ya. Yeah, well he ain't going anywhere. So this is one and a half skulls against an inner sphere. We may have to crank up the difficulty or uh, go up to a higher skulled planet. Now this is a one skull planet, so the max mission we can do is one and a half, so this is definitely under our uh, capabilities here. Moving to position. The fact that these guys aren't actually doing much has got me concerned. Engaging. Yeah, he's got fire fist, nice. Uh, we can't see the guy over there. Copy that. Still can't see him. Nothing. Yeah, man, keep it moving. Beautiful. Just uh, move up to here. Right, Commander. Shouldn't have used this guy back here. I should have used the. Uh, uh, I should have used the. Um, Talos. Okay, so they are shooting. Yeah. I'm, uh, like I, I keep saying, I, I know I'm so, so so excited about it, but, but but my choice to introduce the tactical maps and stuff like that, um, I think it's gonna it's gonna bring another level to the game that just isn't there, and it's not. I mean, it's not anybody's fault. It's just the way Battle BattleTech is, the way it's built, and there's nothing wrong with the way it's built. Um, but like I said, I just wish there was more tactics to planets. Now, if you're playing the uh, if you're playing the um, the uh, campaign version, it's there. But for the if you're just playing like random, like we like we play here, there is no real tactics. It's just fighting continuously. So 
at least this way it's going to feel like we're actually achieving something rather than just achieving getting more gear come on make this guy bail out let's hit his back well beautiful that was the gyro that went eh okay cool looks like we're going to save all the gear on him nice So like I said, we're definitely going to be going for um, melee gear on this one. I think most likely what we'll do is we'll get the o the Firestarter OD, or the OG Killer Firestarter. Um, and that'll be the melee mech, I think. Oh, it's a yellow jacket. Okay. At least we got eyes on now. All right, Arclight, let's switch over to uh, LRMs. Fire them maneuver, I think, probably. Come on. So we're going to do the same thing in the next series as we did with this one. It'll be based on planetary difficulty. A couple points. Um, so it'll be based on planetary difficulty and then we'll do um, sorry can't do two things at once just just the way my brain works all right firing Targeting armor. Um, based on planetary difficulty and then we'll do um, um, what was I gonna say I, ah, I lost my train of thought I wanted to be based on planetary difficulty that way we can take on harder planets or easier planets sounds smart, Cooling. Sounds smart. Firing. okay that's probably going to be it for that ammo wise Long range missiles are out. yeah well we got Hydra if we have to use it alright there we go see what we get now Hard to say which side they're on in this war, but they're bound for your position. Assume the worst. I always assume the worst. Okay, so what do we got here? A dervish, 55 tons. Hunchback. A Chikeda. They're half armored, eh? I don't know if that guy's half. He probably is. Uh, we need to get over there, though. Yeah, I gotta leave, uh, what's his name behind? Gotta leave Witness behind, it's not good. Oh wait, what was the other? Scorpion, okay. X-Pulse, is that a range? Really? Really. Alright, see if we can knock the chopper out. Meh. Alright, GV. Um, do we want to engage the uh, hunchback by yourself? Probably not, huh? You are, But you are a bit fucking crazy. Doesn't look like it's the AC-20 version. Fuck it, let's start it off. I know he's up a hill, but... 17%, let's just do this. Let's just apply a little bit of damage to this spot right here. Enjoy it, boys. It's certainly going to make... Uh, when, they, when they change the barrage... Um, it's certainly going to make it pretty much useless against light mechs and vehicles, but it's certainly going to be effective against heavy mechs and stuff because they obviously can't move as fast. And if they're pushing, you can pretty much predict where they're going to be. So at least it'll be it'll be functional in that. Now I hope if you're going to uh, if you're going to do it that way, where it's going to take a turn for um, the artillery to come in, 
Hope they increase the damage by about 15 to 20 percent. Um, but remove the fire damage. Just make it like artillery splash damage. And then that way... Um, what can I do for you? You? Uh, let's just get across the road here. We want to make sure that uh, the goblin makes it up there. That's probably good. Right, so the splash damage would be increased. Um, but narrow the range and where it hits and um, and make it take a turn to land. So if it does actually hit, it's going to do a lot more damage. It'll make predicting skilled strikes worth it. And if you figure the AI out, then the AI is in a lot of trouble. What do you think, buddy? I think that's a pretty crappy chance to hit. Wait, do we have... We've only got... Oh, we got dead fire too, right. Uh, what do we want to do here? I think you're going to hold off on those guys. Let's collectively attack these guys over here. We're going to focus on this dervish. Um, uh, yeah. Alright, a little bit of damage. You know what I mean though? Like it'll the that way the art it'll re reward you for still using the artillery. If they leave the damage as it is, it may not be worth it. Either lower the damage and widen the area, or increase the damage and narrow the area, or the other thing is to maybe have like have a um an option. You know how you can select your ammo type? So for the barrage, you target an area, takes one turn to land, and you can choose whether it's going to be wide dispersed artillery for low damage or concentrated artillery for high damage. And that way, if it's like a mech that's on the ground, you know, it's going to take a lot of damage. And if it's a mech that's like, um, where are we going here? And if it's a mech that's... Um, like moving and stuff and it's harder to hit it's not going to take very much damage oof we want to go with hydra on this guy or is that srm range no it's not sure it's all we got so let's use it Ooh, a little bit of damage that's kind of nice these guys still need to move too though I wonder if we're close enough. Let's get into here. Um, 40%, huh? Really great chance to hit on this guy. Let's turn these off. I'm going to do a multi-target here. Oh, he's stealth. Come on. Turn these all off. Let's just barrage this spot. Beautiful. Look, I love it when they fly through the air. So yeah, having a, having uh, vehicles in your lance, it's going to be kind of cool. It's actually a, like basically what they did is they set it up. If you look at the video, you can see they set it up so that you switch. Like you can only drop four at a time. But you switch between mech lances. Oh, he's a bit out of range. Mech lances and um, vehicle lances, and combined between the two, you can only have four vehicle, like four land at a time. So that's kind of cool. And then you've got vehicle pilots. So you can't just hire regular pilots. You actually have to hire vehicle pilots, which makes perfect sense. just get up here should still be in range hopefully that'll get this vehicle moving again we better worry about that hunchback though in a second here I'm gonna torpedo this guy we'll kill him quickly and then we'll work on getting to that hunchback I think uh, the adder should easily be able to kill a hunchback from behind the hunchback notoriously has relatively low armor in the back 
depending on the variant, most of them only have like 20 points. And this guy's down to like like less than half armor to start with, so we should be able to burn through his backside real quick. Uh, let's just straight up attack this guy again. And then we're going to maneuver over here. <laughs> Wait and trap this uh, hunchback. You can't see us, we're behind the wall. Well, let's end this Chiquita. That looks pretty good. Yeah, the medium heavies missed. No big deal. Yeah, but you missed with the important one, but no big deal. Not gonna blame you. It was a tricky shot. Yeah, I mean... This seems like one of those games, like for coders, it's one of those games that pretty much anything can be done. It's just the, oh, the amount of time you want to spend to do it. Oh, you hot loaded, did you? What can we get in to see here? Okay. Fair enough. Let's just going to do a multi-target on this. Go this route. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, nice, beautiful. Yeah, a little bit of damage. All right, we'll take it. Oh, he's almost out. Beautiful. This goblin's taking forever, though. We'll probably have all these mechs down by the time the goblin is uh, ready to move. Or getting out of here, that is. Oh, that's not a good move. The rave back. Yep, thanks for showing up, buddy. Or not. So this guy should probably go down. I, we might be able to get all three of them next turn. We'll see. What can I do for you? Okay, stay within range of that guy, but let's get a shot off on this other guy over here. Ooh, good chances to hit. Oh, nice shooting, buddy. Nice shooting. Well, I don't know about toast, but maybe fried chicken or waffles. Maybe a lightly toasted bagel. I don't know. Some raisin bread, maybe. Oh, man, that's burnt. Someone told me a while, a while back that uh, Elvis Presley loved all his food burnt, like bread, toast. He just he would eat it burnt. He loved that... Uh, crispy burnt flavor to it. See ya. He just lay down real fast. He's like, I'm done. Good shot, I'm done. I'll do what I can. Excellent. So when, it was, when we were in college, someone told me when we were in college. So that was our big saying for the longest time in college. Oh man, that's burnt. It just means you like it. This guy's freaking dead. See ya. Well, maybe not dead. <sighs> just keep running away. We don't need you in the fight. I was hoping to have all four of these guys down this, this turn, or three of these guys, but... Oh, he's just not going to do anything. He's just going to stand there.
let's close the the, the uh, distals. Distals. Let's try and finish this guy up. Oh, that looked like a CT hit to me. Enemy yeah. Destroyed. Explosion was contained, but it doesn't matter. Alright, one more turn, it should be done. Well, their mech should be done. Got a feeling that goblin's going to take, what, another two more turns, probably? Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, where is he right now? Right here? Beautiful, just wait right there. You do that. I'm ready. Guys, all yours, buddy. Let's get some height. Let's get out of the trees for a better chance to hit. Ooh, see ya. One in the back. Still going. Like nope, he's hit. not. <laughs> Panic level critical. I just shit my pants. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Come on, goblin, get out of there. Ah, alright. Yes, Commander. Should just be able to brace this. Holding. Yeah, it'll be nice when they've got this the next uh, series up and running. When you come when you've just de defeated all the enemies, the the uh, mission auto ends. That'll be really good. There you go. The objective is secured, Commander. Cool. See ya. Give us our stuffs. We need some stuffs. Mission successful. Okay, contract payment increased by 30%. Beautiful. Shouldn't take long to fix our guys up here. We took a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Good XP. Uh, we said we were going to go down and look for melee parts. Fire fists, definitely want to try and drop those in. Let's grab that. Now, is there anything else? Medium X pulses. Ultra 5. Endos, cores, fire control system critical. 100% chance to deal a critical hit. Well, damn, wouldn't that be nice on a... Oh, he's got a, a hatchet? Is this... Hatchetman is a prototype. Uh, a fix permanent to the mech's right arm. Can we actually use this? I don't know if we can use this, but I'm taking it just in case we can. Can't not take that. Pirate fire control system, double prototype, double heat sinks. Range finder, 20 sight, one gunnery. Ooh, God, there's some good stuff here. Um, yeah, remember we're looking for melee stuff, so... Let's grab these. This we can use on somebody else, but these are definitely good for melee mech. All right, let's confirm this. So, got a Chikata part, Hunchback, Brigand, Brigand, Dervish part, SRM-2s, heat sink, jump jets, light ferro. That's not bad. A couple of prototype double heat sinks. I'm kind of shocked at that. Stealth and machine gun ammo. Okay, pretty cool. All right. Uh, 13,000. That's not bad. Let's get repaired and jump into another mission real quick here. All right, we're not going to take us very long here. I up that job you asked. Not long at all. Now, just to make sure everybody's okay. Yep, we're all good. And we got two days left. Perfect. Ah, uh, yeah. Settle things in the simulator and get some experience. Oh, witness got low spirits, huh? We gained a lot of XP, so we'll take it. We shall take it. All right, uh, command center. Uh, mopping up, I think, is the one I was thinking of. Battle in the Tundra, that's Smoke Jaguar. 
Battling Polar. Uh, the Free Worlds League. Okay. Not the best salvage, but we're going to take it and deploy. Alrighty, here we go. Looks like it's just us. Should have. Looks like it's only one lance, which is hopefully it. Yeah, it looks like it's a really small map, so it's going to be a battle for the hill here. Good thing we got the speed. Good thing we got the speed. So when I do when I do do my next series, the uh, first episode of the series, well, it won't really be the first episode; it'll be the zeroth episode. Uh, it's just going to be an explanation of what like the backstory is, because like I said, it's pretty much going to be non-canon. So I don't want to hear people saying, "Oh, that wouldn't be the case," or "This wouldn't be this," or whatever. I'll set it all up before we start, um, just so that people know where I'm going with it. Um, and hopefully that will avert people uh, being very specific on stuff. Okay, what do we got? A wraith. And a drillson, okay. Anything else? Oh, chopper. Yeah, we need to crank up the difficulty here. Blackjack. All right. Oh, it's Mr. Jack. Be on the hills, boys. What do you need? We got this. Um. Ten ton ripper. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. We gotta get rid of him. He probably has a barrage or something similar. Like I don't, I I don't mind people being like um, true to the lore of BattleTech. That's great, but like you know. For me, it's just a game, so close enough. That's all. That's all I gotta say. As long as it's close enough. Beautiful. Enemy unit destroyed. All right, let's just overrun these guys. And get out of here. Who's the threat? Ah, three energy. Large. That guy's got a half decent amount, and this guy's the long range version. OB. I hear you. Oh, well, I guess you got a reserve. Standing by. What do you think, buddy? Get to within close range of this guy. And then we can do this, and this, and that. Nice. Yep. Uh, I guess you have to reserve too. We'll get witness up in the side of the drill set here. Maybe we can knock it out. Minor on you, There's a couple of other missions on this planet that are against the clans. I think we're going to go ahead and take those ones the next episodes. See what we can get out of them. Ah, one hit. Don't think he does. Is that it? I'm barely scratched. What do you need? Probably all he's got. Moving to position. 
Excellent. Good chances. Um, he's already warm. Let's keep him warm. 75 heat. Whoa. That's just brutal. Okay. Let's rocketeer B and put everything else to A. Did we kill the vehicle with the, uh... Well, we did now. Enemy unit this guy's, like, burning alive. Look at him. It's like, run away! I'm melting. Order. Oh, you ain't melting, but you be melting now. Rolling. You're gonna be melting now. We get B on there? Looks like we did. Let's keep A hot and uh, shoot at B. See ya. Nice shooting. I hear ya. Can I get a witness? What do you think, buddy? Shoot this guy's leg off? Probably. Commencing alpha strike. Ah, see ya. And stay down. I think he had an XL engine. How far can we get here? Oh, we can see him directly. Full we can see him directly. What's up? Engaging. Oh, he's got a Goss rifle. I wonder if it's a light Goss. Probably at 45 tons. Yep. Can you, uh... Confirmed. All right, well... Hey, LRMs. There we go. There we go. I don't want to bail out, huh? No, well, maybe he will now. Here it comes. Still going to stay there, huh? Yeah, I should have left one jump shot on this guy. Let's just reserve him. That guy might move out into the open where I can shoot him, but unlikely. We'll see. You're trying to save the mech, and that's not a good thing, buddy. Yeah. Not a good thing. Oh, there we go. Got it. No shooting, just running. Oh, now we got shooting too. We got shooting too. Inferno, yep. Burn! We ain't gonna get squat on this guy. There we go. Why is it hot loaded? There we go. Hey! Here it comes. Yeah, 12 points. We'll take it. Enemy critical damage you, Commander. How far can you get? Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm 
Barbecue. Just in case he shoots back when going the trees here. Firing. See ya. Do the math, Chief. Mission successful. Math completed. Okay, 160,000. Not bad. Better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Alright, what do we want here? LRM Telos. Plus one accuracy. 30% plus plus 30% chance to be intercepted by uh, AMS, eh? Yeah. Small Exostar. 220. Plus one accuracy. C3 Slave. End of Steel. Artemis 4 Fire Control. We've got one of these already. Ultralight Gyro. Uh, I don't normally like the ultralights, but I might take that double heat sink. Let's grab that. Do we have? Do we have any of these? We got three, but I want to take it just in case. Artemis ammo. LRM. We've got one ultralight gyro already. Take the 215 core. We could always sell it. What do we got up here again? The Wraith, the Blackjack. We don't really see these mechs all that often. I don't really like either of them. I gotta take the core. Cause why not? Alright, Wraith part, Telos, Inner Steel. Uh, jump Jets, Basic Sensors. Ah, Artemis Ammo, nice. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Only one, one grand in uh, repairs. Nice. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to end this episode here. I am going to work on getting a melee mech up and running for the next episode. And we're going to put them into service. Now, I think we've got an ambush convoy mission against... Is it Smoke Jaguar or Novacat or something? There's like a one and a half skull. So we're going to take that next episode, I think, and try out that uh, melee mech. I'm not sure who I'll leave behind. Might be the Adder. Don't know yet. We'll see. All right, but for now, we're going to leave this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Also, check down below. Like I said, in my um, on my uh, YouTube channel, the YouTube selects, there's a video there showing you how they're implementing the vehicles into the game. Um, yeah, I think you might be interested in it. All right, so until next time, we'll see you later.